Okay, so rice goes in. Look at that colour. Mm, and that is just looking glorious. If you're fried rice obsessed like I am, you are gonna love this fried rice version. It's packed with basil, chicken, a spicy chili paste. Ah, oh, so good. If I had to pick like a last meal kind of scenario, fried rice would be way up there. Oh, I can't get enough of it. This one is extra special because I'm combining that amazing Thai dish pad krabao with the rice itself into one spicy stir fried goodness. So super exciting. Uh, we're gonna start off with the chicken though. So to me, fried rice is all about the rice. So your protein, you shouldn't have too much of it and it should be sliced very small. So you can see I've got my chicken breast here and look at how thin and small those pieces are. That means they're gonna cook really quickly in the wok. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of fish sauce and a dash of white pepper. I do love to marinate my proteins before stir frying them for fried rice, just gives some extra flavor. I give that a good mix. And now of course, because this is a spicy fried rice, we're gonna go with the chilies. So I'm using these bird's eye chilies. I think for me, I'm gonna go with six. It's gonna be pretty fiery. So up to you guys how many you would like. If you can't get these bird's eye chilies, just pick a spicy chili in your local area and that should be just fine. And I also want some garlic in there. So this is gonna make like a garlic chili paste. It's really gonna give some oomph to our fried rice. I always like to add a little bit of salt when I'm using my mortar and pestle because it just helps to break down the fibers as I'm pounding the paste. So you just want a rough paste here and this is the kind of scenario that you're looking for. So while that chicken is marinating, we're gonna make a few more bits and pieces for our fried rice. And for me, a fried egg, a crispy fried Asian style egg is exactly what you need with any kind of Thai stir fry. So we're gonna do that first of all. Now we need quite a bit of oil here because it's almost like we want the egg to shallow fry in that oil. This is an Asian style crispy egg, not your regular fried egg. And then once that oil's nice and hot, go ahead and pour your egg in should hit a sizzle straight away. Now just use your spatula to flip some oil over the top of the egg and then we wanna leave this to get really nice and crispy. Now once you can see those beautiful crispy edges, strain that egg and then pop it on some paper towel. And then you need one egg per person because I'm certainly not sharing my crispy egg. So now let's talk about the basil. So this dish is inspired or the flavors come from a stir fry called pad grapao here in Thailand. And it's made with a basil that we call grapao. Uh, it's also known as hot basil, spicy basil, and it does have a kind of like bit of a spicy flavor to it. Now, if you're looking for it in your Asian grocery store, what it looks like is it's got this green stem and the leaves are a kind of matte texture. They're not shiny. And you can see that they've got ridges on the side here. Now the other kind of basil that people get a bit confused with for this dish is Thai basil and we call that hotapa here in Thailand. So you can see it's very different. Often you'll find a dark purple little flower or a purple stem. And if you have a look at the leaves you'll see the Thai basil is a little shinier, smooth edges compared to your hot basil. So they're the two different basils uh, that you might find in your Thai or Asian grocer and you're looking for the spicy one. Now I don't want you guys to miss out if you can't get the spicy hot basil. So just use Thai basil or use Italian basil. Won't be exactly the same flavor, but you will get something a little similar. So don't worry if you can't get it. Now the most important thing is that we have a lot of basil. You really want a big basil flavor for this fried rice. Now the last thing we want to prepare before we stir fry is our stir fry sauce. It's very simple. A little bit of oyster sauce, soy sauce, fish sauce, and then a little dash of sugar to balance out all that saltiness. Okay, so time to do the stir frying, which means it's nearly time for the eating, my favorite bit. So I've just taken out some of the oil that I use to cook the eggs. I've got a few tablespoons left in here. And then I'm gonna add my chili and garlic paste and hopefully not have a coughing fit on camera. <laughs> Chilies are very spicy. Okay, now my onions straight away. And then I like to spread everything out just to the edges before I add my chicken in. That'll give the chicken plenty of opportunity to get in contact with that hot wok. So whenever you're... <coughs> <coughs> See, I told you. <laughs> um, now, whenever you're adding protein to a wok, just try and spread it out so that it really gets a nice sear on it rather than steaming and stewing. 
Once that chicken has had some time to get some nice color on the first side, now I'm gonna stir fry it all together. Because that chicken is so thinly sliced, you can see it's just about cooked already. Once your chicken is cooked through, add your rice. Now this is day old rice. I do have a video on my YouTube channel for how to make rice for fried rice if you'd like to try that one out. And now add in your stir fry sauce and give everything a good mix. And then finally we want our basil. Ah, oh, I wish you guys could smell that basil. It makes all the difference in this dish. Now, all that's left to do is serve up our fried rice. Now, don't forget the crispy egg. And then I like to have a few slices of cucumber and just a little wedge of lime to squeeze over at the end. Okay, let's have a look. Mm. This is like fried rice at a totally new level. Ooh, and so spicy. If you guys love chilies, you're gonna love this one. I didn't spill anything on my jacket. How good's that? Professional. <laughs> always reminds me of beach holidays. Sand in my feet, pina colada in my hand, and a big giant pineapple fried rice. Yum. <laughs> now, I'm not usually one to advocate for decorative fruits when you're home cooking, but can I just say, there's just something particularly spectacular about a pineapple bowl. So we're gonna go large people, we're gonna make the pineapple bowl. So start off with your pineapple, and we just want to cut a little bit off centre down through. Now just keep a hold of the pineapple with a tea towel because it's a little bit spiky. Save this guy for later. And what we want to do is run our knife around the perimeter of that pineapple and just create our little bowl shape. I'm going to get right down to the bottom but don't cut all the way through the pineapple. And once you've gone around the edges, just cut through the middle and create little slices going to make it easier for us to scoop the pineapple out in pieces rather than one whole bit. Okay, so the first piece always takes a little bit of wrangling. Just get a spoon in there, just scoop out that first little piece. So there is the first piece. Now we can scoop out the remainder. Now just clean up the bottom part of that pineapple and you'll have a little bit of pineapple mush down there, but don't throw that away. That's perfect for putting on top of your breakfast yogurt or your muesli. Yum. And there we go, our beautiful pineapple bowl. Now I want a few of these pieces of the pineapple for our fried rice itself. I'm just going to cut the core out. That's that hard bit in the middle. And then slice up these nice tender bits into small chunks. If you're not going to be making a pineapple bowl, you still want to use fresh pineapple for this. I find that tinned or canned pineapple is a bit too soft and a little bit too sweet for this purpose. So you can just buy pineapple pieces or sliced pineapple, but just make sure it's fresh. The secret to making a really good fried rice starts with a good cooked rice. And if you want all my tips and tricks for making rice, especially for fried rice, have a look at my YouTube channel. I've got a video there just for you. Okay, so I've got some two cups of some cooked rice here. And the really important thing about stir frying anything is that you've got all your ingredients chopped and ready to go because the cooking part should be really quick. And I just need to get my eggs ready. Just give those a whisk. And now we're ready to cook. A little bit of oil, and I'm using a totally non-traditional ingredient for this, bacon. My mum would not be very happy, but my mum's not here. So bacon, in we go. I'm gonna let that bacon fat melt so the bacon pieces become nice and crispy, and the rest of our ingredients will fry in that bacon oil and get nice and tasty. Mm, the smell of that bacon is making me happy already. Now for some garlic, some onion, and some cashews as well. And now for the prawns. And whenever I'm adding protein into a stir fry, I like to move the ingredients around a little bit so that the proteins are hitting the bottom of the pan straight away and getting all of that good heat. 
Now just let those prawns sit on that first side, let them sizzle and get all caramelized. Time for the egg. And once again, I'm moving all those ingredients around and the egg goes into the centre. And now get it all mixed up together. Our rice, there's chunks of pineapple and some flavouring. So I've got some curry powder, good dash of fish sauce some soy sauce and a little pinch of white pepper mm, and that is just looking glorious. To finish that up I'm going to add a little bit of greenery with some chopped coriander and time to serve up. Oh, it just looks so festive, a holiday on a plate. This fried rice has all the good things, spicy ruby red Korean style sauce, beefy beef, egg, vegetables, it's got it all my friends. This is my Korean style beef fried rice. Growing up with a Thai mom pretty much means that fried rice is like literally in my blood. I mean, I've been eating it every week for like as long as I can remember. <laughs> but I'm always looking for new ways with fried rice and this one is my Korean style spicy beef version, which I just love because it's got loads of veggies so it makes for a really good weeknight dinner as well. So let's get started on the sauce first of all and I'm going to use this as a marinade and as our stir fry sauce. Two things, one, wait, how's it go? Two birds, one stone. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start with some Korean gochujang chili paste, first of all. And I literally go through tubs of this stuff at home. It adds such a beautiful, almost like a smoky chili flavor, some umami and savoriness. Just add some good stuff. And some soy sauce as well, some sesame oil, good couple of pinches of sesame seeds and then just give that a mix. Now I've got some beef mince here and I love using mince during the week because it means that I'm not slicing up meat which means everything happens a lot quicker. So I am going to take the time to give this a bit of a marinade though. So that goes in and a few good spoonfuls of that nice spicy red sauce and then just give that a mix. And this just makes sure you know that we're really getting a lot of flavour into our beef. Um, even though we're doing things quickly during the week doesn't mean we can't do them nice. Make it nice everyone. And I'm going to make an omelette for our fried rice as well. So I just want some eggs. I just need some oil in my wok here. I really want to spread that oil out, make sure we've got a good base before we get our egg in there. And now I like to just kind of swirl the wok around, try and get a nice even thickness for my omelette. Now just flip that over. Love that sunshine yellow egg colour. Always makes me happy. All right, now I just want like a rough chop on this egg. When I was little and my mom would make the egg for our Thai fried rice, I would always come and steal the egg omelette part. It's my favourite bit. So good. And now we're ready for the main event, our fried rice. Just want a little bit of oil in here. Same wok that I've done the omelette in. And some garlic, some onion. Now, as usual, when I'm adding in my protein, I just like to push everything aside and then get that beef into the middle there. You're always aiming to get your meat in contact with the hot pan as quickly as possible in the wok because you really want things to sear rather than stew. So when the beef is almost cooked, let's go in with our vegetables. And you could choose your own adventure here. I'm going with some cabbage first up some Chinese cabbage or Napa cabbage. And I just want to stir fry that until the cabbage is just wilted. Whenever you've got quite a large amount that you're stir frying in your wok, try to add the ingredients and then give them some time to stir fry and, um, and heat through. 
and that way we're avoiding that stewing issue again. Trying to keep things as dry as possible when you're stir frying. Okay, so now in with my shredded carrot, and I often use shredded carrot in my weeknight dishes because you can buy it already shredded, uh, so that just saves a little bit of time. No need to be a hero during the week. And some bean shoots as well. Okay, so now I'm going to add my rice. And just like any good Asian child, I always have rice in my fridge. Rice made the day before is, is really good for fried rice. If you want to check out my video though on how to make rice, especially for fried rice, uh, find that on my YouTube channel. Okay, so rice goes in. And our red sauce. Look at that color. Now in with our egg and some spring onion. And that is it, my friends. Look at that color. Now a little bit of special here at the end, some spring onion and some sesame seeds. And that is one very good looking fried rice. Let's see how we've gone here. Mm. You know, I always find any kind of fried rice so comforting. Just a really beautiful base of flavors there. That spicy gochujang flavor. The sesame, the eggy egg, the beefy beef. Mm. This, the couch, me sitting on the couch, eating a massive bowl full of this. That's what I need right now. Mm. So good.